Hey guys, it's Leanna with PrimaGames.com and we wanted to do a small little video. Uh, pro bono, this is not a sponsored post. This is not a review unit. This was not something sent to us. But I recently decided to upgrade my mic. Uh, I just recently started streaming on my own and I kept seeing all of these cool like red LED lights and I was like, hey, I want that. That looks really dope. Like, how do I get that and what is it? And I looked it up. Uh, so that's what today is about is HyperX Quad Cast. Um, the high, this is a USB microphone, which uh, for all the audio files out there will know and I'm sure will comment down in the comments that uh, if you're getting a USB mic, if you're wanting like professional mic grade, you're not going to necessarily want to go USB. Um, I do, for those that don't know, I do a lot of voice work uh, in my off time. I've done a lot of voice work for Turtle Beach. I've done a lot of voice work for HyperX. I've done Hyper, then uh, mod voice work for games. And so I was looking in both USB and I was also looking um, for just streaming mics. And I kept seeing streamers with this, which I know HyperX has a really extensive streaming sponsorship program. So most of them were not purchased. They were gifted as part of a sponsorship. But I know a lot of friends that have also purchased this mic and they all recommended this when I asked on Twitter, um, what kind of microphone should I get? Because I was looking into different options. So I was looking into the specs. I really liked that it's a, you know, it's standalone microphone. Uh, it's got the anti-delay. It's, um, it's an elect, uh, is it electret? Electric, is that how you say it? Electric condenser. Um, it's uh, three 14 millimeter uh, condensers inside. And then it's black and it's got your, um, you can control the volume here. And then it's got the usual settings of the cardioid and, depending on what you want. You want the cardioid, you want the bi-directional, you can also get the omnidirectional, and then you can do the stereo as well. This is cardioid, is what I have it on now. And this audio that we are recording this on has not been altered, has not been improved, has not been edited in any way, because I wanted to show what it actually sounds like. And this is something that immediately I was really impressed with. Uh, and this is also, for also disclaimer is usually when I'm streaming with a mic, I'll have RTX voice on because that also makes it sound much better. It's really good about eliminating any background noise. I have a bunch of pets. I have a person that lives in the house with me. So for me, being able to kind of eliminate that chatter, especially with doing voice work is really important. But for this video, I wanted to have this be as organic as possible. So this is no RTX voice. This is no editing. This is nothing like that. It's just raw voice. I really like this <laughs> mic a lot. And for those that follow me on Twitter, you will know that I raved about this mic for a very long time, pretty much since the second I got it. Um, I Before this, I had a Razer Siren Elite, which is a great microphone. I personally like the heft. I'm like this way with computers. I'm like this way with my handhelds, with my phones. I like heftier. I like feeling like if something's expensive, I wanna feel the weight of that in my hands. I want to feel weight. And that's something that I really liked the Razer Sierra Elite was that it was very weighted. It was a very heavy metal. <laughs> it was very heavy metal and you could feel the weight in your hands. This is much lighter. And when I opened it out of the box, I was actually a little worried about that as I usually, and this is a bias on my own part. And sometimes it turns out to be true. The lighter sometimes does equate to actual cheaper in quality, but not always. And for me, when I opened it up, my own bias immediately felt the heft and I was like, oh, this is one of, this is one of those mics. But I wanted to test it before I committed to that opinion. And I'm glad I didn't commit to that opinion because when I hooked it up and I did some voice uh, test voice runs just to see on the different settings, on the different uh, the directions, I tried the stereo and I tried the bi-directional, omnidirectional. Omnidirectional for me, I haven't really had a need to use that because I've been using it primarily for just voice work and streaming. Uh, so right now I have it on the cardioid. Uh, which is a standard setting for people, especially streamers, because it stays tuned in to the person in front of it as long as you're speaking into it in the way that you're supposed to. Uh, in this instance, I have the logo facing up and then I have it to the side. So I'm speaking directly into the condensers. I don't know if you can hear the tapping, I'm not sure. Um, and I really like how easy to use it is. So for me, a lot of people don't know is I have MS 
and it attacks both my spine and my sensory. And so I have effectively no strength in my hands. Uh, it can. That's why I, I tend to prefer mouse and keyboard when I play PC versus controllers. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I have good days where I can feel in my hands, uh, like today's a good day, uh, but sometimes it's not always that case and I have a hard time, you know, getting a good grip. I have no strength. A lot of times I can't even feel my hands. So ease of use is also very important to me. And HyperX Quadcast is very easy to use. It's very easy to set up. It's got, um, this came with it. This is actually out of the box how it looks. I just have it on a standard arm mic boom uh, stand. And you can change the volume here. I don't know if you can hear the difference, but here's how you change the volume. And then you have your four settings below here. And what makes it even better is, so for me, especially if I'm streaming like a horror game or something, I am a very big screamer. I scream until I lose my voice. So this is nice. Couldn't hear that when I said it, huh? It's a simple tap. It's freaking cool. Um, and that's something that's really important to me too. Just not necessarily is that a game breaker or a deal breaker when looking at mic purchases. Absolutely not. When I'm on location, we use the standard holding a mic, uh, especially when I'm interviewing developers or anything like that. We use the standard holding, uh, especially for the omnidirectional capabilities. I couldn't imagine taking this on location. I would only use it when I'm at home and doing remote work but it was very easy to set up. It worked with every mic stand that we had thus far. I haven't tested on a plethora of them. I've tested on maybe four or five. Worked well with all of them. Easy to set up, easy to plug in. The voice quality is incredible. It's very responsive. Um, with RTX voice paired with that was incredible too because I tend to, when I'm streaming, I get very excited. I'm a very overly excited person. Uh, I scream, I yell, um, all the shenanigans. And it does a good job at focusing on what is meant to be heard and kind of eliminating the background noise. And a lot of that is also the RTX voice. Sometimes it works too well and a lot of my stuff gets muted. But um, this is a good, this is a good mic. This is a really quality, a quality mic. Um, actually, let me see. I'm gonna be unprofessional really quick and pull up um, how much it is. Cause I actually don't have that. Let's see, HyperX. Quadcast price. Um, I know that this is a, a a more expensive mic, I believe. So look, it looks like we have a couple different price points on alzashop.com. We have $161.19 uh, on eBay, $219. I want to say I paid $199 for it. I want to say that because I, I, I was very careful when I was looking. I didn't want to pay more than what I paid for the Razer Siren. Um, Newegg has it for $269.99. Gare City Gadgets has it for $232. Bonanza has it for $196. So there's a lot of various prices. I know somebody was saying the other day that they tried to order it through HyperX and it was actually sold out. Um, I didn't see that. I, I was able to purchase it through that website pretty easy. So the website if you want to buy it, you're going to want to go through the website, through the website, very easy access mobile. It is $139.99. I don't think that's going to focus properly, but trust me, it says $139.99, which is really nice. And it also works with PS4 and it works with Mac devices and it also works with standard PC. So if you are one of those people that likes to have your mic on your desk, you could absolutely use this. It doesn't say anything about Xbox One. I haven't tried it on an Xbox One, so I can't attest to that, but it says on the listing PS4, Mac, and PC. So I think that's really cool. I think um, it's a really good quality mic. Uh, it's actually less than Razer's, which is nice. So 139 is actually a really fair price point for this. The sound quality, in my opinion, um, and this, and I will, for full disclosure and nothing to knock against Razer because Razer makes incredible products. That's what I actually, what my manufacturer is for my laptop when I'm on location. Uh, I'm a huge noob when it comes to anything audio, which is funny being in voice work, but I am a huge noob. I took way longer than I want to admit to learn the differences between the different options of cardioid, bidirectional, omnidirectional, stereo. Uh, and learning how to edit and things like that took me a while too. 
Um, so it could just be user error on my part, but I feel like when I was doing the Razer Siren Elite, I was doing a lot of editing on my voice work and which is fine like it sounded good the end product was good i just needed to throw in a little equalizer in there i needed to boost the audio and i needed to cut out the background noise and then when i recorded the latest episode for a client uh for voice work for their script i realized i didn't have to edit anything i was able to send raw voice footage to the video team which was incredible so I personally can't recommend this video, this, uh, this video. Well, yeah, I can't recommend, watch this video, like this video, comment down below. But I, I can't recommend this mic enough. It's a great microphone. You would be remiss to pass it up, especially for the price point. $139 may seem like a lot, but that's incredibly fair for the product and what you're getting. It's very easy to set up. You're not gonna have a bunch of messy processes you need to go through. It's literally plug and play, you're good to go. And when you're done, you're not having constant running, just mute it, put it up and, and you're done. So that has been our little mini review, not a full review, obviously, but a little mini review of the HyperX Quadcast. You can find this bad boy over on HyperX.com. Again, this is not a sponsored post. This is not a review unit. This is something I paid for out of my own pocket. Um, we're really good about lists, you know, if we are sent a product to review, like I reviewed the gaming chair behind me when I, we did a, you know, talking about that in our review, we were very careful to say this was provided to us because I feel like that's very important to be transparent. Um, not that we would have any bias. I've been writing games media for 17 years. I've learned how to kind of filter that bias out when regarding, um, you know, what I like personally, which versus what is actually good and what is an actual downfall. Um, but this is a really good microphone um, and I just, we wanted to make this video specifically because personally I was so impressed with it. I just want to tell people because I know for me, when I was looking for a new microphone, I was really just looking in. I was asking everybody for their input, everybody and their mothers, <laughs> what they thought, what they recommended, what they use, what they used in the past. And um, so I hope this helps. If you were looking at the HyperX Quadcast at all, I highly recommend it. If even a noob like me can use it, it's very user friendly. So thank you guys for tuning into this short little video. I know I probably rambled more than necessary, but I really appreciate you bearing with me. Uh, you can check out more reviews, news, cosplay features, tips, tricks, <laughs> all of it at primagames.com. Plug, plug, plug. You can also make sure to subscribe to this channel for any time we have any videos come up, whether it be a guide video, news video, or more talks like this. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at the same name. And of course, check out PrimaGames.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will catch you guys next time. Bye.